Okay, I'm going to show you something very interesting. You can actually prove a common post-trib error, a common post-trib fallacy, by using the modern perversion of the Bible known as the NIV. I'm going to show you a funny little clip from a sermon uh, preached by Bruce Mejia, one of Anderson's little acolytes, and he says that you can't prove, you, you, he, says, he says you can't use the King James Bible to prove the pre-trib rapture, but you can use the NIV. We're going to see about that. This is 42 minutes and 11 seconds into his sermon called Triggered. It's 42 minutes and 11 seconds. Watch this. Watch what he says. Did you know you can't prove your point using the King James Bible, but you can using the NIV? Triggered. This is true. You cannot prove the pre-tribulation rapture using the King James Bible. Impossible. But you can using the NIV. Hmm, because again, he uses the word tribulation as a title. Because here's the common error that post-tribbers make. They make the Great Tribulation into a title of this coming time period. The proper title is the Time of Jacob's Trouble. See Jeremiah 30, verse 7. And obviously, they don't want to use that title because it gives away who it's for. Jacob, Israel. Daniel, Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 says that it's determined upon thy people, Israel. It's not for the church. It's not for Christians. It's for the Jews. But they have to make the Great Tribulation into a title. But he says that the NIV supports post-trib doctrine. Well, I'm going to show you otherwise. Here's Revelation 7.14 in the King James Version. And I'm going to show you how the NIV changes it to support post-trib errors. Revelation 7.14 And I said unto them, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of Great Tribulation. Keep that in mind. Great Tribulation. So it's a description and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So we see, we're using Great Tribulation. They came out of Great Tribulation. So what they're coming out of is it's described as Great Tribulation. Compare this with Matthew chapter 24, the common passage post-trippers always love to run to. Matthew 24, verses 21 to 22. Actually, I'll start at verse 21. For then, shall there, for then shall be great tribulation. See again, great tribulation, not the great tribulation. It's a description. As such, or such as was not since the beginning of the world uh, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Hurts my eyes reading on a computer. I do apologize. But it goes on to say the, the days are shortened for the elect and that kind of stuff. And I did a video showing that Jeremiah 30 verse 7 gives another common argument from post trippers is that, well, where does the Bible say that Jacob's trouble is the tribulation? And I showed by comparing Jeremiah 30, verse 7 to Matthew 24, 21 to 22, it's, it is talking about the same thing. Because both talks about, you know, great tribulation that the world has never seen ever, which Jeremiah 30, verse 7 says, you know, um, alas, that day is great, there is none like it. You know, paraphrasing, of course, talks about, you know, the days are shortened, so the elect, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 says, you know, and he shall be saved out of it. So it's talking about the same thing. It's saying that there is going to be this, this time where it, like, it's not going to be anything that the world has ever seen, but the elect, the Jews, will be saved out of it. I did, again, I did a video showing that it's talking about the same thing. But you see, the great tribulation is not used. Tribulation is used as a description. But according to Bruce Mejia, you can't prove the pre-tribulational rapture using the King James, but you can use in the NIV. Well, let's see what the NIV says with Revelation 7.14. And let's see how it backs up the post trip error they make. And he said, These are, are they who have come out of the Great Tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Uh-oh. So the King James is clearly using Tribulation as a description, which is the proper thing. It's a description, not a title. But the NIV... Which supposedly teaches pre-trip or supposedly teaches pre-trip quote-unquote heresies, is using the post-trib false terminology, the Great Tribulation. Hmm. So who? What? Which Bible is real? Which Bible is really teaching post-trib heresies? You know, the uh, the, the NIV teaches post-trib heresies. It's using their term, the Great Tribulation. You see again, King James does not use the Great Tribulation. It just says which came out of Great Tribulation. It's a description, not a title. But the NIV changes it into a title, just like how post-tribbers do. So, who is really uh, teaching modern version heresies? The post-tribbers. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Very, very interesting how he probably covered, probably covered, covers this stuff up too because they did a little video, uh, New World Order Bible version. So 
uh, they, if they have ever read the NIV, they would know that it is using their terminology. Again, not going to get too much into that, but um, just it's ridiculous. It's funny. It's it's ironic too. It's funny how how the exact opposite of what he's saying is the truth. So anyway, don't be deceived by this new IFB cult. Don't be deceived by the post-trib heresies. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.